Merry Christmas, Shut everybody. Shut the fuck up. Don't even pretend. Oh, no. It's a Don't Christ- even. I will not allow you to take advantage of this recording it's session. It's a Christmas thing. To think that this is even This is a intended. denominational. This is a denominational. Shut the fuck specific up. Specific video. Listen, this was. This just happens to fall this way. And I, I Merry hope, Christmas and I, Happy I, Hanukkah, everybody. I hope people enjoy that, but I certainly don't. I'm not letting you pretend. This bagels break up. I'm not. Yeah, you you fucking stuff that. You stuff that. I'm stuffing it. I will not let you pretend that this was a planned benevolent thing. No, I was like, hey, we're it, gonna do Dark Souls, right? Okay. We better break that glass, huh? Yeah. Okay, let's break that glass. Okay, what days are coming out? Oh, it's Christmas. Well, it's great. Hey, how about that? Merry Christmas! Yeah. You fucking torpedoed my fucking bit. Everyone was- I will continue to torpedo the bit. I will nuke the bit. But- I, Everybody was gonna be like, Oh man, that's so nice. And you know what else? This they is gave the, us that nice Blaze Blue episode. This is the day after Blaze Blue, so like, what better, like, what more, like, appropriate, uh, wrapping up of loose ends feeling is there? Yeah. You know? Uh, now I can go kill myself. That's about right. <laughs> so these are all fine. Well, as soon as it's done, I mean, I mean, you know. yeah. Oh, well, of course. Um, I'm not gonna kill myself during the recording. Oh, you're putting it up though, so yeah, I could. You know, <laughs> I, I'm I'm not going to stop you, but I might put my hand out a little bit, like a little bit of a gesture to be like, uh. <laughs> but uh, I'm not moving my ass off the couch or anything. All right, so it's a nice. It was a nice couch. It'd be a shame if I covered it with my entrails. Yeah, that would be a shame. Okay, so here's where I got a type in the keyboard type. Yeah, what do you want to be, man? So, I don't know. I have been. I thought about this a little bit on the way over here. Man, this bagel's delicious. Yeah, and I, I don't really know, but, uh, I, like, I guess maybe maybe now's the time to reveal a little something about myself. Uh-uh. That hasn't been revealed. Is this Blaze Master? No, because that'd be hilarious and awesome, and I really want to do it now, <laughs> but... Uh, I was gonna say instead of going with a Woolsworth mm-hmm. version variant, I'd uh, reveal a little bit. You'd of go like Wyatt about perhaps something that combines and to form a name that I already kind of have. Oh, I see that. As you can see, based- is, that's good actually because it's sim- It sounds like a time appropriate, right? That's better than the the, the separate parts. So there yeah, we go. That should be your real name. Yeah. Now the reason why, of course. Oh my god, are you doing this? Uh, I, well, you know what? This is the Christmas gift then, Holy I? shit. Yeah, let me fucking nuke my own asshole. Okay, so he's gonna tank my bit. <laughs> and then shove this up his own ass. No, this is- this is- this is- For just, his bit. This is blowing my own shit up. Um, when I was born, Wooly was the name I got from my father, but prior to that, my family was going to call me Darlington. My real- your, your name proper Christian name was Darlington, and to this day, family still do call me that. That's great. So, as embarrassing as that is, uh, let's go with Willington, awesome. shall we? Uh, honestly, Willington's great. Like, it's legitimately great. I think it fits the time period. Mm-hmm. Now, these are all, of course, the pre-configed mm-hmm. variants, and then we've got deprived, as I would expect. Wow, this looks really good. I So... So I was I was telling this my looks girl- really good. I was telling my girlfriend about this because she's like, doesn't that game look old as shit? I'm like, no. Because Well, you probably didn't pay attention when DS Fix came out. But when, Why would D- I? when DS Fix came out, it turns out that most of the textures in the game are too high quality for the PS3 and 360, and most of their detail was lost on those consoles. Okay. And it was lost on the original PC port. Um and when DS Fix got added, everyone was like, holy shit! There's yeah. so much detail in this mud. There's so much detail on this statue. <laughs> right, right, okay. Um, so I know that, uh, I don't know, I just kind of want to feel my way through this, you know? And, uh, you know, sorcery I know is still back. Pyro's in- the way to go. Pyro's the way to go, because I was going to say, like, I like the look of the bandit, but that's not going to just be there for long in the end. And I'm looking at his stats, and that's Pyro's, all there. Pyro starts at uh, soul level one, unlike most of the rest. Yeah. And it also has, like, the lowest and easiest, like, spread of stats. Okay. Where, like, you have have just enough attunement to cast one spell. It's a jumping off point. 
And here's the so. thing. So you've been playing all the other ones, right? Yeah. In this, Pyromancy is awesome because it's not as good as Spellcraft, right? And it's only one damage type, but it doesn't scale ever. It's completely flat. I understand. So if you can cast it, you can. it's good. It'll be useful until it's not useful anymore. Mm-hmm. All right. Oh, my. So I remember you talking to me about the Master Key. For uh, fuck's sake. I remember you talking to me about the Old Witch's Ring. Mm-hmm. And that's all I remember. No. Do you remember me talking to you about the pendant? No. So the pendant is that. And that, that description is accurate. That it has no effect, but fond memories come for travelers. When Miyazaki was asked in an interview right when the game came out, Hey, if you were going to pick a starting gift, what starting gift would you pick? Mm -hmm. And he said, oh, I definitely pick the pendant. Uh huh. And, uh, and the guy asked him why. It's like, oh, just a little thing or, you know, some, some non-committal answer that left a hint. Sure. And people fucking went nuts. Went nuts and tore this game apart and uh, data mined it as you and should. all the hell. As you should. And then uh, after in the Dark Souls 3 interviews, he's like, oh, yeah, the pendant does nothing. Okay. Yeah, I, I fucked with you guys. Awesome. Um, so <laughs> uh, if you do want to pick one, it should be the pendant or the old witch's ring. The old witch's ring actually has an the, application. The old witch's ring has value. Yeah, okay. But it is non-gameplay value. It, it is, is it is content value. Uh, DLC value? No, no, no. But it... It allows you to talk to somebody you wouldn't otherwise be able to talk oh, to. Oh, well, that's content. Okay, well, I because I really want a hard go pendant. Yeah. But I don't want to miss a conversation. Um, so that's fine. I am not slim. I am large. I am... But are you very large? I'm not very large. I'm, I'm large. I'm in the process of going from very large to large. Yeah. So that's... That's good. That's prideful. Um, I'll, I'll take that. And well... You're jubilant. <laughs> They actually have names? Yeah. Oh, no, wait. That's just kind of like the area I guess I'm from. That's where Siegmeier's from, man. Interesting. Well, that's cool, I guess. How's your hair? Now, your hair options suck shit. Straight up. Yeah. Well, then I guess I just got to go for long, don't I? Because I'm not going to Yeah, get your it. hair options are terrible, and any helmet will destroy these options. Of course they will. That's fine. Um, I, the closest thing, I'm used to this from, remember, I, I do create a characters all the time. Oh, yeah. I'm pretty much stuck going with just normal white guy hair, and that's the end of that. Yeah. Um. And then you have, like, you don't even have a color wheel or a palette, you just have whatever. Though, that being said, that character looks a lot like the Pyromancer Mothman art that got drawn way, way back. Yeah, it's not too, it's DS2. not too far. Um, I, I don't suppose I can just, I, I can do a version of this where, uh, I have just a goatee. No. There's no facial details that change here, right? These are the textures, and that's that, right? Uh, hold on. You can go to Jubilant Cantaria. You can go to Customize. Oh, I can actually do something there. Okay, well, all I really want to do, because the face is fine. Do not hit that fucking random button. No. Do not hit that fucking random button. All I want to do is just change the facial, uh, the, the mustache stuff. Yeah, I don't know. No? I don't do that. You don't think so? Maybe Customize again at the bottom. Oh, God, like going further, deeper in? There you go. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, that would be mouth, I guess. Mm-hmm. Could figure would be hair? Hair. Uh, uh, as a subcategory? Okay. Mm. Um, entire... Not hair color. It's just, that's just color. There's no actual selection that's just hair. Mm. Yeah, it doesn't look like you can mess with it. Okay. What the fuck is lip asperity? <laughs> A Dark Souls character creator. What option. the fuck is that? Oh, Jesus. There may be stuff under entire. No, there isn't. All right. I'm not going to. You've been bouncing between the character creators and seeing them go up and down. Up and down. Yeah, it's nuts how it bounces and doesn't go in a straight line. So, like, Demon Souls was terrible. It was so bad. And Dark Souls is, is marginally improved. And DS 2s is much improved. Okay. It's it's weird. It's fucking weird. Because no, it just that's 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 my facial hair when I don't want it to be that way. But I'll accept this. Well, with the hood on, that actually is looks pretty good. I know. I'm looking kind of happy. <laughs> oh, or you won't look happy. No, anymore. I know. I'm looking a little too happy. But let's go, Willington. Let's find out about Dark Souls. You're going to lose your souls, all of them. <laughs> Could you imagine? Mm. The world was unformed, shrouded by. A land of grey crags, arch trees, and everlasting dragons. I'm going to temper my expectations. Yeah. Well, you're going through this but in the most ass-end conceivable way possible. Yeah, I am. And, like, 
What's the what's the dead last thing you learned about Dark Souls? The creation myth. Right. The most important <laughs> thing. Life and death. Age of fire, age of darkness. Of course. Light and dark. Oh, is that what that looked like? Maybe not. Representative at least. Then from the dark. This is like a, this is a creationist uh, fable. It's like you know, like everybody has their own version of how the world got created. But with Dark Souls, it's a much faster line from creation to yeah to whatever. Also, they're born decrepit. Yeah. Hey. The first of the day. I got to know you a little bit. That's real fucking neato. That's really cool. It's <laughs> the fucking coolest guy. The witch of Isolith. And her daughters of chaos. This is the style of intro that's way, way awesomer. <laughs> yeah. When you just go, these are the dudes. <laughs> yep. Right the fuck on. Well, like, it's unfortunately been spoiled for you at this part, and spoiled for everybody because of osmosis, but when the game first came out, it was not all that clear to me, or to others, it was some people got it, that these were going to be your primary antagonists. Oh. Right? Because this is told as a fable. This is a million years ago. You know, this is nothing, right? And then at some point they go, those dudes are still around. And they gotta go. Also, challenging dragons is usually something heroes do. But, yeah, I'm down with seeing my Mega Man boss selection <laughs> prior to getting started. I'm way into that, but that guy's- you're not gonna think that's a hero. He's okay. Although seeing lightning spears makes you really want to use one. Yeah. Because unfortunately- I wish they weren't, like, such a, like, shitty thing to use in the LPs. Because I just love the concept in, in, so uh, much. In this game, uh, miracles are fine. They're they're above average, you know, I guess, but uh, it's sorcery that is busted. I've, I, like you know, capital B busted. I mean, and I've I've come to understand the meanings and reasons, but I just love the idea of grabbing lightning like Zeus and fucking throwing it. Yeah, bro. So this is a nice little detail coming up. Uh, I don't know if it's intentional, but I like it. Uh, the character you're about to see is going to be the character, the box art guy from Even Demon now, Souls. Oh yeah. Yeah. Not this lady. The man sees not light. I was about to say, I hope it's those that are not guy. That's the fluted armor set. Oh, that is the armor from the front of the. <laughs> oh wow, that's a nice little touch. Fun. It's like we've switched publishers. That's a corpse now. Oh, I would blow people's fucking minds if Sony was like, "Guess what, fuckers? We got it. Yes, too. We got it. Yeah. Okay." Oh yeah. my oh. god, that picks up so that loud. That was the loudest that... crinkle, you fuck. Oh man, I thought You Matt... better eat that quick. I thought Matt's like crunch tastic uh uh cookies big in Dark Souls 3 The ones were bad. labeled big crunch yes, on the front. Indeed. So the yeah, things are just brand decrepit brand immediately. Brand like those thing those bodies that got up in that cutscene were, were that's the humanity's natural state. <laughs> <laughs> that's <laughs> fucked. Oh, that's fucked. That's our natural state, yeah. is a hollowed out husk of crap. Like, even in the, the, the shitty settings that, like, are given to you in games like, uh, Kingdom Monster Death. The Kingdom Death Monster. You're still kind of a cool human guy that's a little bit buff. Mm -hmm. Even though it's all despair around you. But here, you just don't even get to feel good about yourself. You're a, you're a pile of ribs and bones. You sure don't. There's no meat anywhere. The rags I have make me feel like a king. This looks really good. It looks really good. Those stones look really good. <laughs> like, this should- This- I- I honestly believe this game looks better in overall than Dark Souls 2. By this the way- This is also way I'm glad you- I'm glad you spent all that time in your character creator. Because you start the game hollowed. Hey, bro. Hi there. And you look like a pile of burnt bacon shit. Okay, there's so much more, like, direction already than the way other things have started, at the very least. Like... Like, that was an intro. Mm -hmm. You know, I did. I kind of just wasn't born in a fountain. Um, that's cool. Alright, so... So you were an undead. 
that got found out, and you got sent to the asylum. Where, th that's, that's the solution here. The solution is, the undead are a problem. Just send them to the asylum and, and jam them in there. And that's it. Okay, sword hilt. Separation crystal, dark sign. The usual. Yep, yep, yep. The usual. Hey, take off your clothes. See what your character looks like. <laughs> oh, look at those Whoa. lips. Look at those lips. Wow. You are fucking gross, bro. All right. That character came out a little blacker than it intended. <laughs> Uh, so nothing else on me. No, secret. you got nothing. Nothing secretly on you me. You have fireballs equipped, but you don't have a talisman to use them. Why would I? And the ability to two-hand is here with my shitty old, like, shitty old sword. Yep. Okay. And you can read those messages to get tutorial prompts. Which are probably things that I'm going right to... Right stick is camera! Yeah. Attack! So, I think Dark Souls 1 still has the best, like, signposting and early game shit of, of any game mm -hmm. in the series. Because, like, you can hear some shit moving around. And if you take a quick look to your right, you'll see some dope-ass shit. Like, oh, second one of that, the game. I know you from the future. Mm-hmm. Okay, well... <laughs> right? Yeah. I guess that's clear what that's gonna be. That's gonna be my demon's show. Don't challenge. worry yeah. about it. I won't worry about it. Oh, so glad we could uh, we could give these these folks this wonderful LP as a Christmas present. Yep, yep, yep. So, <laughs> I'm actually hoping that I can do decently. Uh, I was talking to you, but earlier. I'm expecting to fully fall. Look, look at look at the wall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Doesn't this look better than DS2? That looks really pretty. I'm expecting to fall for every trap ever. Uh, yeah, absolutely. But. I was uh, talking to you slightly earlier, it's like, there's a couple things in here that crushed people back in the day that, due to your practice now, are not gonna crush you as hard. Okay. Because you saw that trick twice before, and in I'm, some cases, three times already. I'm somewhat aware of what, uh... Well, because when, when a lot of people start Dark Souls, they didn't play Deaths, and they were just like, what the fuck is this? How do I do this? Oh, very important. Uh, running. Running is hold B. Hold roll. And to jump... Tap it again. Yeah. Got it. And that's your jump. You have no clicking on L3 to jump in this game. Okay. That was not added until later. And backdash slash attack is still a thing. There and uh, leaping attack, which is forward and R2, is still there. Uh, what you do have in this game you don't have in almost anything is that sick-ass kick. Yeah. So that's a guard opener? Yeah. And then uh, do I have a... No. There you go. Yeah. So that's the best parry. Okay. That ever was. Okay. In anything. On its own raw? It's the best one. Okay. The shield has the same animation. It's the same speed. It's there. super good. So there's the footsteps. <sighs> there you hey, go. Hey, alright, we're doing this. Defeat him! Defeat him now! <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> okay, so no, because I did more damage on the yeah on the the, the demon Look at that—he's breaking the pillars. Fuck you, dude. You you you. It's unlikely that you will be able to defeat him. So, a lot of people like let themselves get killed. Uh, I because they're like, oh, that's just like the guy at the beginning of Death. Oh, right. Oh, oh. And it's like, well, no, it's actually run your run your ass away. Really? Yeah. Really? They closed the door behind me. Yep. It's like, listen, there are guys that you will not be able to defeat. I was... I, so, know that cowardice... I was gonna just space this a little bit. ...is in your heart, but... Oh, Wooly, with three damage? No, he, I... No, no, I, I immediately see saw that as like, that's ridiculous, this is not at all a thing. <laughs> but I was gonna look at him and see maybe he had a moment of weakness to, for a pattern or something. But, oh, yeah, he does. You know, but I, I, they locked him. They locked me. Oh, out. Well, I'll take a seat, regen your health. Yeah, I, and you'll, you'll be ready to go soon enough. Well, that was surprising already. Okay. <laughs> this you, have, you, you are taking the <laughs> dumbest journey. <laughs> you are taking the dumbest journey. Hello. 
You have found a bad shield. Because, um... Uh, whatchamacallit? Uh, yeah, what was it called in, in, in Demons? Oh, Vanguard. Yeah, Vanguard. That, he was totally doable, right? Yeah. So, yeah. Um, he, he is doable, and so is Asylum. The only difference is you have to... Uh, one of the gifts is the Black Firebomb. You remember Black Firebombs, I yeah, hope? Yeah, I do. Uh, that, the, if you hit him with all five, you can kill him. And you get a you get a special a, uh, a hammer. You get his hammer for it. Oh, you're doing shit all, bro. Wow. Because these are real enemies. These aren't just the husks that you fought earlier. Yeah, you're super... I'm doing nothing to them. Well, luckily... I got an axe, though. Uh, you're not gonna walk out, are you? Alright. The axe is pretty solid as a starting weapon. Honestly. Alright. It's nice and simple. Alright, well, let's not... Not have anything to fight you with. There you go. All right. So that's a also real uh, tap L two. Uh, yeah, that that. Look at that. Yeah. Same speed. So it's identical. Yep. Okay. Guess what? It's really good. It's really good. It's really good. How about that? That's <laughs> also really good. Well, blocking with that is ass. Of course. Right. <laughs> I, ju I just love the specular lighting effects in Nothing here. Mister. They're really, really Nothing strong. over there. Okay. Interesting. You're doing it. Hey, fog gates. Which look like shit in this game. Yeah, there's not much going on. After DS3 thing. and Bloodborne. You remember the original version of the Bloodborne fog gate that was super detailed and had people clawing out through it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a whole Devil May Cry door. Yeah. Oh. Look, it's a box art, hey, man. Yeah, hey, friend. <laughs> Backstep, left stick plus B roll. Okay, yep, that's a backstep. Uh, Unfortunately, you cannot reach him. This is a game where that's going to be a thing, though, right? What do you mean? Hidden, hidden, fucking. Oh, hidden bullshit. This game has the is most. The originator of genuine all genuine hidden bullshit. Okay. Right. Good. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah yeah. <laughs> That's what we're looking for. <laughs> there you go. Oh, fun stuff. Oh, you. You're no hollow. Thank you me. dropped the body down on me, didn't you? He did? I'll die soon. Then lose my sanity. I wish to ask something of you. Mm -hmm. You and I are both undead. Hear me out, will you? You gonna hear him out? Why not? Regrettably. I have failed in my mission, but perhaps you can keep the torch lit. Straight up. There is an old saying in my family. Thou who art undead art chosen. In thine exodus from the undead asylum, maketh pilgrimage to the land of ancient lords. When thou ringeth the bell of awakening, the fate... That's a complicated family saying. Yep. Ah, uh, it's a prophecy. About the chosen undead. And I can die with hope in my heart. Oh, one more thing. Sure. Here, take this. An Estus flask. Yeah, 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 yeah. Don't mind if I do. Five, right off the bat. That's fat. And a little key. Yep. Now I must bid farewell. I would hate to harm you after death. Ah, oh, cool. So go now. That's pretty straightforward. Thank you. I appreciate it, sir. So a detail that I only found out, like, really recently. Uh, so he got all jacked up. Now he was on the roof before uh, before he ended up in here, right? Yeah. Check out the where the light is coming from. Yeah, okay. Now yeah. check out what he's lying on. And if you remember, the asylum demon was oh, on the roof okay, until okay. So it literally smashed him through, through the, the fucking floor. And he got wrecked, wrecked, wrecked. Yeah. Okay. All right. So there was the upstairs or the. Oh, really? Oh, and I got his souls. So on speedruns, you just run up to him, immediately attack him, and grab his shit. <laughs> Damn, okay. So this would be a little bit of a short cut. There you go. You're getting there. So, Wooly, I've been, I've been over, I would even say I've been overly harsh on Dark Souls 2. And I had some complaints Ooh. about Dark Souls 3 and, and Bloodborne, right? Um... In terms of shortcut pornography, yeah, you will never get a bigger, harder dick than this game. It's gonna shake like the camera shakes right now. Yes, it'll quiver. 
I like how they're telling me about two-handing right now. Yeah, you, dude, you took bad bad. You should. Right. I really, I'm excited hey, hey, to hey. see if this game holds up for you, right? Because you've come through this in the weirdest conceivable path, and I hope that you like this game just as much as as I did. I hope so too. Uh, one of the details, I don't know if it's in the other games, honestly. I think it's in DS2 and 3, but axe weapons, uh, if you miss, you have a way longer uh, stagger than if you hit. Like, if you hit, you have a very, like, light animation, but if you miss, he, he takes, like, a step forward and staggers a little bit. So, now I can throw this. All you gotta do is hit R1 and you'll throw it. I hope we're strong. It takes a little bit of time because it's a... Uh... Oh. Okay. That's... You hitting R1? Oh, sorry, I'm hitting R2. Okay, you're decent enough. And you have limited casts. Yes. As always. You're decent enough. Uh, plunging attack. Well, you know what to do once you go through there. Oh, right. yeah, okay. Yeah. Or use pyromancy. <laughs> you, you'll... So this is to teach you how to critical hit. Also known as a backstab. Well, let's see if you can get a backstab. This guy's really easy to get it. I'm hitting R2 again. Yeah. There we go. So, I don't know I need to stop how much you could feel that. It locked in. It locked in easy. You have like a 120 degree angle behind people's backs that you can backstab them with. Also, that Estes timing is very different. That it's, was... Yeah, yeah, it was. It's slow. Okay. Uh, yeah, so, backstab the game. Also known as Dark Souls. Okay. Ah, uh, yes. R2 while falling, right? No, R1. R1. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Radical. It's go time. That's cool. That's cool. Are you having trouble? <laughs> Not really, no. <laughs> that's what I expected. Oh, I know that. Like, you've seen him in other... Forms. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, well, I fought him in, or rather, I saw him in, in Dark Souls 3. Yeah. He was walking around on top of that bridge. He was tougher there than he was here. And his skin was all fucked now up. Now you have a humanity. Let's look at that description. That noise is still going. Well, yeah, because the guy that you saw through the cage wasn't the guy on the roof. Jeez. This place has a bunch of them. Okay, well, fuck. Um, yeah. Rare tiny blackstone found on corpses. Gain one humanity. The black sprite is called humanity, but little is known about its true nature. If the soul of s if the soul is the source of all life, then what distinguishes the humanity we hold within ourselves? I don't know. Good question. Anything else? <sighs> no, not particularly. Okay. Uh, let me get. You me did it. All right. Let me. Where's that room? Look at these delicious, delicious barrels. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, true, true, like... I kind of forgot how, you know, that stopped being important, but... Oh, look at it. Look how many they were happy to put in this room. I it's because as Asylum Demon stomps around, he can destroy the pillars, he can destroy all these, and it looks real nice. Looks real nice. Um, so, for my own sake, like, hitting walls all the time is gonna, like... It sucks. Yeah. So... Stabbing weapons are still great. There's a particular weapon. I don't know if I'm gonna try and get it for you because it is the only way to get it is via absurdly rare drop. Uh, it has been colloquially nicknamed by Epic Name Bro the Baller Swag Sword. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's the best. Is dude? Do you, it would really. It is the best. Are you are you telling me the baller swag sword <laughs> is the best? No, I'm telling you it's the best. B E S S. Yeah. Uh so if you search around over there, you can find an old friend. Is it an old friend or a new friend? Yeah, I mean like the the uh edges of oh, the of the dev message. Of Literally just That's really okay. Hmm. I forget exactly where they are. Hmm. But um old friend. Nah, not over here. Like you see that? There's where there's uh turn 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 turn. Turn left or right? Yeah, left. Towards towards that. 
See, there's... Yeah. See, there's, like, areas to the right and left you can go to. Okay, so this branches out a little bit. Mm-hmm. All right, let's take a look around. Hey. Forgetting set. There they are. Oh, do, do, do. That's where they are? Well, at least you can, like, see them this time. Sort of. You don't really see them, but... Okay. Oh, they're not active in the state of the game. Interesting. Smooth, shiny, silky. Yeah. Um, whatever the other words Check are. out where you at, man. I know, I know. <laughs> hey, no reason to go over there. No, no, no. Okay. But, like, check out these mountains. They're fucking... You're yeah, out, oh, uh, You yeah. are oh, out there! No, you're fucking outside, absolutely. <laughs> I, I did notice that upon walking in immediately. This yeah. this is what I meant when I saw the the Firelink Shrine in Dark Souls 3. I'm like, this looks a lot like the Undead Asylum. Like the area. You're just not built into a fucking mountainside. Like, almost Tibetan. Yeah. It's like, well, this is where we dump all the crap people. Why would you bury someone here? <laughs> it's so hard to shovel. It's tough, man. All right, nothing, nothing, nothing. And cliffside. Wow, it's pretty. <laughs> hey, oh, cool. I oh, was not expecting that. In the ancient legends, it is stated that one day an undead shall be chosen. Perhaps the duel. <laughs> <laughs> 